I'm going to show you how we can draw ourselves um, and do it kind of a more realistic way. So a lot of times when we draw people, we do something like this. Circle, stick, some arms, some legs, and a face. But we can do it much more realistically than that, and it's not that hard. So, um, first off, instead of drawing a circle, we're going to draw an oval or an egg shape. And then we're going to use lots of rectangles to make the rest of our body. So I'm going to go down just a little bit and draw a rectangle. And then I need to connect the egg, the head, to the body with a neck. And make sure that you don't draw a little lollipop stick neck. Your neck actually, you can look in the mirror or you can touch your own neck. It actually goes pretty much up to where your ears are, down and over to your shoulders. So like a curve. And then we'll do the legs. And the legs, I like to draw, I go down, And I go over here to the other corner and go down. And then I draw like a triangle here and connect. So now I've got two legs. And then the arms can be one long rectangle or can be a bent rectangle or two rectangles. So like, let's say this, I'm drawing myself waving. I might go rectangle, and then another rectangle. Okay, now there's a few things we need to work on. Let's do hands, and hands can be really, really hard. So what I like to do, I do hamburger and french fries. I draw a hamburger, then I draw five french fries, two, Three, four, five. And I can do that down here too. Hamburger, french fry, french fry, french fry, french fry, french fry. Okay. And then for the feet with some shoes on, you can make a potato like that. Or my other trick, and this is only if you're like, feel like a more advanced artist you can try this trick. I like to draw, it's like a water drop. I go down and around and back up. And then I draw a little bump. And then I draw this line again down here. Then I can draw some straps for my shoes, hold them on. That's how I draw a shoe pointed forward. There's a shoe to the side. But if you just wanna keep that part easy, you can just draw a potato shape. Okay, now that we've drawn our body with these boxes, in the egg shape, we can erase a little bit. Now, maybe you don't want to do the erasing, but if you really want to get detailed, you can do some erasing. And I'll erase the top of the box here. And I'll erase the part where the box and the arms touch. So I'll erase right here too. And I might want to redraw this line. And it might just be curved, so it looks like a shirt. And then we can spend a lot of time drawing faces and actually we'll do a lesson on drawing faces. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to do more erasing. I need to erase where the hamburger touches the french fries on my hands. There we go, does look a little better. 
Okay, now, faces, like I was gonna say, um, faces can be really tricky and we can spend a lot of time on them. And actually, we will do another lesson all about drawing faces. But for this one, you can try, you can draw a face however you like to. But what I like to do is I draw the eyes kind of like almonds or lemons. Put some dots in there. And I draw the nose kind of like the letter L. And I draw the mouth. One thing to be careful about is even when you're super happy and smiling really big, you can't smile higher than your nose. So you might want to, even when you're happy, your smile doesn't go past your nose. Then, if you have hair, which a lot of us do, you might want to erase the top and draw your hair. Or maybe you have some shorter hair. Okay, now what I want you to do, I want you to draw yourself, but I want you to draw yourself um, whatever it looks like when you are doing school. If you're coming into the school, maybe you have your backpack. And a lunchbox. Okay, or Maybe you're doing school from home and you might have a computer with you at your kitchen table maybe or maybe it's um maybe it's in your bedroom wherever you do school. But I want you to draw what it looks like when you come to school. And I, when I'm coming to school, I normally have my I see I shirt on. I have a mask. And Let's see, I carry a backpack too. I'll put a backpack on. So I really look forward to seeing how well you can draw yourself. Um, I really want you, if you normally draw yourself as a stick figure, I want you to try to draw yourself a little more realistically, okay? You can rewatch those steps, rewind the video and rewatch those steps, that'd be helpful. Okay, and if you want to add color, you can add color and other details, or you can draw other people in your family or some friends or classmates or whatever you'd like. Okay, but I just want you to really focus on getting a realistic looking person in your picture. Okay, all right, have fun. I really look forward to seeing what you come up with.